Hello friends, I am back to make videos in the normal way. I'm happy to say that my hectic schedule since March is done-ish, kind of. Um, so I am back to doing regular videos. I can focus on you guys and focus on what I want to do instead of doing like weird voiceovers from like hotel bathrooms and stuff like that. So, ah, oh, guess what? Pork con. Let's get back to pork con for a minute. Um, until April 22nd, there is an early bird discount code and I didn't want you guys to miss it. So I thought today would be fun to do the two techniques that I'll be doing at pork con. So the two techniques I'm doing are the spin swipe and the loaded palette knife swipe. Now, I, um, I think it's really fun because first of all, spin swipes can be really hard, but the cool thing about spin swipes, there are so many different ways to do it. So I also, I'm gonna be like, until pork on, practicing all the fun different ways to do it because there's different ways to lay the paint. There's different palette knives to use. There's different everythings. By the way, the early bird code is early bird and I'll be putting the uh, link to Porcon in the bottom. Um, I really hope to see you. Uh, I know some of you wanted some of my classes, but at the time they're sold out, but new classes are being released uh, all the time. So I do have, maybe we're halfway full. I don't know. Uh, but come get messy with me. That's what I want to say about Porcon. Now let's talk about colors. Um, I had like 30 colors um, kind of lazing about here that I've been using. So I went through them and I decided, first of all, I'm tired, not tired, but I've been doing so many blues and um, perps. We're gonna move away from blues and perps, although I do have a little bit of a perp. So why don't we talk about, and I don't know which one I'm doing yet, but what I do know is I was looking for a brown. So one of them I'm gonna go, I think for the loaded palette knife, I wanna go like so subtle, like, purples and pinks and whatever. So normally, so this is TLP S'mores and Caramel Drizzle. Now they do have a TLP Cappuccino, which is kind of in the middle, but I don't have any more. So I'm gonna make my own. I want like a, this is a very rich brown and this is a very kind of goldish brown and I want it in between. So that's what we're gonna make. So why don't we go point, anything else I wanna tell you? Oh, I am gonna be releasing the winners of Mo's challenge from a few videos ago um maybe i've already released them okay yes i've already released them so check the last video because i've already released the winners if you've won please email me at or message me on my facebook lisa martin art whatever and then we'll figure out and i want to do more of these fun giveaways they're really fun um let's talk colors Okay, so what I have going on, and I'm I'm not sure which one we're going to use yet, okay? But of course, we have one of my favorite greens. We have the shadow green, right? Now, we also have one of my favorites, Triart Rose Gold. You can get this Triart now at Fluid Art Company. Finally, I love them, okay? Then we have TLP Agapanthus. Um, I have TLP Twinkle, which is a blue to violet interference. There you go. Um, we have Old Holland, um, yellow, light yellow. I don't know if you can see, but it's just a light yellow. Um, uh, this is TLP Sterling. This is TLP Ore and Triart Liquid Mirror. Okay, so the liquid mirror, sorry if you hear sneakers, is very pearlescent and uh, really cool. Okay, so let's figure out what we're gonna do. I'll be right back. Okie doke. So, what pillow am I using, you might ask? I'm just gonna use whatever dark pillow I've got going on right now. It looks like it's this, <laughs> which you can't see, um, Sherwin-Williams College Go Dark Night. Now, this is a 12-incher. At my class, we will only be doing eight-inchers because, oops, it's much easier. So this is an eight-incher. 
very dirty one, but you can see the difference. So we'll be using a smaller surface. Now, to be honest, this, this one is a very small one. So I hope it's not ugly. Now, there's many different goals for a spin swipe. Some people like full cell coverage. Some people do not want full cell coverage. Um, and they want more of something else. So let's see what happens. Okay, dark night, here we go. Gonna watch for little bloops. Okay, that should be enough. I hope so. Um, let's see, do I wanna spread it out a little bit? Maybe. So I think I've decided on the colors. Now, this spin swipe, I'm gonna do differently than I normally do. This was the original spin swipe. And if you remember the history of the swin, spin swipe, um, I was on, hold on, let me focus on what I'm doing before I tell you. Okay, by the way, my cell activators, this is Atelier or Amsterdam, hmm, looks like Atelier. Atelier Gold cell activator. So it's Atelier and Floetrol, Ozzy Floetrol, and this is Payne's Gray. Now I mix them till they look good. There's no measurements. I like to mix the Atelier, these metallics a little thicker. They do make bigger cells, but okay. What have I decided? Um, so definitely I'm gonna top it off with this because I'm using a dark cell activator. So this is gonna be the last color. Let's go backwards, top it off with. Um, then why don't I go, obviously I always put an interference over the dark. So we're gonna do that, but do, maybe I'll start with the liquid mirror. Okay, so I think we're gonna go liquid mirror, agapanthus, then the green, then the twinkle. Yeah, that looks about right. Okay, let's do it. So I'm gonna do a line. Oh, as I was saying, this method was kind of created, I was on the, I'm doing a live on the Shelly Art Group with Billy, and she was telling me how to lay the paints, and we were just kind of winging it. Okay, so since I'm gonna spin this way, I'm going to lay my line, okay? And I'm gonna lay, 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 and then do that. Normally I do a puddle. I don't know, I don't remember what's gonna happen. So I don't know if this is gonna look good or not. So we'll see. So originally it's called, now was that a bloop? This is called a Billy Swipe. That's what I called it. But of course, when people started doing it, they didn't know who Billy was maybe, or they didn't wanna call it a Billy Swipe. But oh yeah, bloop, bloop, bloop. Yeah, um, that's what it's called, Billy Swipe. Okay, so we have Agapanthus. Now we're gonna do a bit of this shadow green. You know, I thought I saw a phthalo turquoise somewhere that would look nice too, but. Okay, here's the shadow green, okay. On top of the shadow green, we will do the twinkle. I use twinkle so much. It's one of my favorite interferences, I think. Okay, and then this light yellow. Okay, so this is where the hard part comes in. Oh. Sneakers are so annoying today. Okay, so I wonder, so normally you could go, hold on. Sneakers, come here, sneakies, I love you. Okay, so we're gonna either, we can go like this, we can go like this, we don't know. I might have to pause because sneakers is unbelievable. One moment, please. Okay, I've locked them down here with me. Now, we are gonna put our cell activators on here. Maybe it'll be better. So Billy likes it to really have, to really dig in. I don't know if I like it that way. Um, I'm gonna do the gold first. And then you think, are you gonna load the whole palette knife or just the corner? You know what I mean? That's why there's so many options. So you could either do this or This, you know what I mean? So let's see, 
still don't know what I'm doing. Um, I'll just stretch this out a little bit. Is this going to be ugly? I don't know. Am I starting here or here? I don't know. What's happening? Okay, maybe I'll start <clears throat> here. Mm hmm. Now, oh, those are cool cells. <coughs> Sorry. Um, really pretty in the middle. I like what's happening. So these cells are going to get really big, but I don't mind. I'm going to spin now because I don't want to have them keep growing too big. I like what's happening in the middle. They're going to get huge. So there's two reasons they're getting huge. Number one, the metallics really make them huge. Number two, if there's, oh, there's a bloop, hold on. If you leave a lot on, then it's going to keep sinking and seeking and making a huge thing. Hold on. Yeah, we don't want that. Okay. But this turned out better than expected, didn't it? It's cute. So I think really like, because there's so many, let me just fix that. It's annoying me. There's so many different methods. You're always gonna get a different look. Oh, by the way, the other reason these cells are so huge is the liquid mirror makes huge cells. You can also get that at Fluid Art. I just wanna make fake lines a little bit, if I can. Just, you know, maybe we'll spin off, but. Um, yeah, these colors, we like it. You know what's really cool is the shadow green over the liquid mirror makes like this light green, which I'm kind of enjoying. So there you go. That's kind of cool to me that it doesn't really matter how you layer the paint. Well, it does matter, but like you're always going to get a cool look, whether you put the paints in a puddle, whether you put the paints in the line, whether you put your, your knife in this middle of it or at the edge of it. You know what I mean? So many opciones. Okay. Let me clean my knife. So cool. Let's move on. Oh, so the next one, I'm actually, I want to make that brown and then we're going to figure out what kind of loaded palette knife we're doing. This is pretty. You know who would really like this? Billy. Billy's my friend. She also owns Fluid Art Company. So she's the reason we have all these beautiful piggies, her and Shelly. Okay. Um, now what we do is we tilt, still some paint. So we'll keep spinning, but it's kind of cool, you know? All right, so I'm gonna do a close up in the light as normal. Um, then we will make some browns. See, do you see how huge those cells are? So that's a mix of this thicker cell activator with the liquid mirror. So again, are you into big cells? If you are, this is the way to go. Okay, colors, you can't see yet, the sparkle, really pretty. Okay, um, let me do a close up, be right back. Okay, so I'm gonna mix up that brown and I also decided I'm gonna mix up some carbon black just because we're going like super plain. So the carbon black, let's do it super easy. For whatever reason, when I do non-piggies, I start with this 
the, my bare 8300 first, bloop. Now, because it's a fluid paint, um, it's gonna be about the same consistency and you know I don't measure anyways, but if I was using a two paint, I would probably put less bare 8300, and that's my Joe Sonia, um, because it would make my pouring medium thicker. So, when you're doing this, I'm just kind of mixing, mixing, you're, you, you're looking for the basically the consistency that you want, because adding the fluid isn't really going to change anything. That's pretty good. So, bloop, just like that. So, carbon black is opaque. Now, I've decided, look how rich it is. I'm going to use a white pillow, but I have a problem. Um, oops, was that a bloop? Yeah, hold on. My problem is, um, let's, oh, see there's a bloop, sorry, hold on. My problem is that I don't, I have old pillow that's been sitting around for a super long time, which is my Glidney Essentials Eggshell, and it's really thick. So, there's a few things, I don't know if I'm even going to like it, to be honest, but at least swipes are more forgiving, but we'll see. I could thin it with a bit of Floetrol, but let's just see what happens first. So let's mix a piggy. What I do is I take my Josonia, bloop, because you want to melt your piggy and it might as well go like that. And then, cause we're gonna put bear in it. So let us start with s'mores. We'll just do equal, like it doesn't really matter. Bloop, okay. And then we'll do caramel drizzle. Bloop. I've never mixed these two together, so I don't know what it's gonna look like. Can't be bad. So what I do know is I am gonna put these browns over the black. So when I load my palette knife, now I've got a lot going on. I think what I'm gonna do is on, that's kind of pretty, right? It lightened it up a bit. On my canvas, I'm gonna put the black and then this brown, and then the rest I will load on my palette knife, perhaps. Let's see. So what do you think? So this is the color that I made with those two. So you can see it's a little deeper than the caramel drizzle. Well, let's put my bear inside. It's gonna lighten it up a bit. Bloop and bloop. Let's see if that's a good consistency. I love making my own colors, super fun. It does take a minute because it's a bit chunky, but I think we're looking pretty good. There we go. So, yeah, see, it's like, it has the copper vibe of this, but a little deeper, and it's like a beautiful sheen to it. Okay, so let's discuss colors. Let me close these up. So as I said, we're gonna start with black, brown, then I think, I'm gonna go a little nuts. Um, I'm gonna do the Triart Rose Gold, okay? Hmm. With the Sterling, okay? And right underneath the Cell Activator, I'll do the Yellow, very nice. And then for my Cell Activators, I'm gonna do Double again, and I'll, I'll do the Gold and the White. That looks like a really just relaxed palette, right? So, I think I'm happy with that. I'm just nervous about my pillow paint, to be honest. Uh, but we will figure it out. Okay, so, because I'm loading backwards, so first, these go first, okay? And then I'm loading backwards like this. Bloop, bloop. Although I just made my problem because I'm putting this on top of this, but whatever. Okay, bloop, bloop, bloop. Okay, I believe we've blooped it out. 
Okay, so here we go. It's very yellow looking. Let me fix the color. There we go. Okay. Um, are we nervous that this is so thick? Whatever. They can always scrape it and then go dark, right? Okay, we're pouring this out. Oh, God. Am I in trouble? I could be in trouble. It's okay. You know what I say. It's only wasted paint. <laughs> okay, so yeah, this is quite the thing. Oh, my God. I can't use this, can I? <clears throat> Are you scared for me? I'm gonna like really, and look at all these bubbles in it. I'm gonna really stretch it out. Who knows if it'll even like spin properly, look at it. Am I just wasting everybody's time? Why don't we see at least, it's a learning moment, you know? But look at all these bubbles, gross. Well, these, even these bubbles. Hold on. I might be talking myself out of it. There should be this many bubbles. Um, oh God. Cause you know, my other only option is to go Sherwin Williams white, which is also thick, but like not this disgustingly thick. Like, I don't know. Yeah, no, I can't use this. Okay. I've played with the paint enough. We are, I'm not using this. But I am, I still use a thick paint, so we're gonna move to the Sherman Williams. But I, this made me too nervous, and like, why waste everyone's time? You know what I mean? I mean, this has been sitting around for so long. I definitely have to mix up a new can. I just haven't had time yet. And I really want a white background. So we're gonna go. This is going bye bye. And we're going with the Sherman Williams white which is also thick, but not like crazy. Hold on, I need to mix it up a little bit. It's like not scary thick, you know? That was a bit scary thick. I wish I could get a white right out of the can. I cannot. Okay, here we go. You'll see a difference when I pour it. See, oh, at least it like moves. The other one, you know what I mean? Okay, so what am I doing? Right. I'm doing a load of palette knife swipe, and I suppose this is another thing that's interesting. Yeah, see, look at how nice. Phew, we almost made a big mistake. Okay, um, so there's many like options. Am I just going like straight like this? Am I just uh, straight across? Could be kind of boring. Maybe I'll do a little maneuver, I don't know. So this is, uh, my, I don't want green on there, although it'll spin off, but still. Um, this is still quite thick, but not embarrassingly thick. You know what I mean? Okay, here we go. I don't even have my, what am I doing? Hmm, we didn't prepare. Oh, I guess I'll use this one, which isn't totally clean, but whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, cool. So are you ready? This is gonna be amazing. Now the other problem is because I just mixed up these paints, there's air bubbles, which are annoying. So I would suggest, you know, mixing up your paints the day before. So here's the black. Hmm, I shouldn't have done that swerve so much, to be honest. I was like making a design and not remembering what I was doing. But don't worry, we'll fix it up. <laughs> I was having too much fun, like making decorations. Okay, so we have that. Okay, and we have this. Okay, cool. So now I'm gonna load this knife up. And remember, I'm going backwards, okay? So I'm gonna start with the gold. Cell activator, cell activator. I'm gonna go with the white. 
Okay, cell activator. I'm gonna drizzle, oops, the light yellow. I'm gonna drizzle, oops, TLP sterling. And I'm gonna drizzle triart, ooh, I'm nervous, rose gold. Okay, oh, which way, what are we doing? I guess I'll start here. Yeah, I did a very crazy shape, so I don't recommend doing like a weird shape like I did. Like, what am I doing? Uh, I don't know, let's just do it. Okay. These are gonna get really big as usual. Oh, I, I don't mind that bottom. I, so these swipes always look better towards the end because there's less paint, you know what I mean? Um, but definitely cool colors. Now I really like, I don't want to ruin this so much. So I am going to take some of my white and just, cause when I like tilt it and spin it, I don't want it to fight these cute little cells. I want to give them a chance to be free, you know? Cool color combo. These are all gonna go off anyways, unfortunately, but you know. Okay, what are we doing? I don't know yet. Um, let me hmm, continue to go like this, you know, okay. Making a nice composition is always takes so much time, but so worth it to think about what you're doing. You know what? I like the way things are just like this. Let me slowly, cause I don't want things to go nuts, you know? So this is where we go slow but it's so thick, it's hardly even moving. Don't worry about those little weird things. We can make shapes with them. Okay, you know what I'm gonna start to do? Cause it's like being really, I'm gonna spin. I, I like what's happening, but I might've put too much paint so we might lose some cool stuff, but let's go slow. Slow and steady. Might want to do this again. Okay. Cool. Right. Let's try to get this coming down a bit. Okay. So I'm pretty happy anyways with the two, it's cool, right? With the two different methods. Um, yeah, really cool. Tell me, oh, you know what? There's a buble, hold on. Hold your horses, everybody. I would like to know a lot of things. Do you like this color palette? Don't drip on this little booblet right here. Um, do you like spin swipes? Do you like loaded? Like, what do you think? You know, give me your opinion. What do you want to see more of? Cause I'm going to be probably doing a bit more of these to see which one is like the easiest for people to learn. You know what I mean? Um, these are cool though. I like you. So there you go. Um, I'm going to do a close up of this, of course, in the light. And, um, I really enjoyed doing these today, especially cause I haven't talked to you guys in so long. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave it the way it is. I think this is a good comp, right? Wait till you see the warm sparkle. It's going to be pretty. Um, and yes. So poor con. Early bird ends April 22nd. The code is early bird. 
are you coming to Porcon? You don't even have to come to see me. There's like so many amazing artists, uh, like the top of the whole world. It's crazy. So uh, let me know what you think. And I love you guys. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, do all the fun things. And I love you. Bye.